Hello there, welcome to the new lecture. So in this lecture, now we have to discuss about the stress value pressurization system calculation in Excel sheet. So let's start. So for that, here I have opened the Excel sheet. Okay. All of you know that stair well pressurization is a safety measure implemented in building to prevent the smoke or fire from spreading into the stairway. And how this work, uh, stair well pressurization work by blowing fresh air into the stair well to keep it slightly pressurized compared to the rest of the building. Here you can see the one schematic also I have shown you. Suppose if you have placed the fan above the terrace level and by using the ductwork you can supply the fresh air to each and every floor. Okay. So here our main target we need to calculate the what? We need to calculate the total air required to pressurize the staircase. Okay. How much total air is required to pressurize the staircase? That is our main target. So in that first we need to calculate the leakage flow rate through door or window crack. And after that, we need to calculate the leakage flow rate through open door. Then when you add both of them, you will get the total air required to pressurize the staircase. Okay. So here I have taken one question. See, in this problem, what is given? We have a ground floor plus six floor building. Each floor having single leaf door as per NFPS specification. And on the ground floor, uh, we have double leaf door only in ground floor. Okay. Or in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth floor, we have a single leaf door. So we need to design the stairwell pressurization system. So as I told you, the first target is what? We need to calculate the leakage flow through door or window crack. So for that, we have a formula Q is equal to 0 0.83 AE A into P to the power 1 by N. A is what here? Leakage area. Okay. A P is pressure in a staircase. Okay. N is what? It is a factor for door. We have to consider uh, n factor value two for window 1.6. It is written. Okay. So now, first of all, here you have to uh, see how much pressure we need to maintain in the staircase in Pascal. Okay. So here I have shown you the different table. Can you see the country, their code pressure? If you are preferring this BS as per BS 5588, see the minimum pressure in the staircase. How much we have to maintain 50. Maximum you can go up to 60 Pascal. Okay. So let's say here yeah, I'm maintaining 50 Pascal. So write down that value. Now N factor. So let's say uh, in each and every floor as I told you uh, in ground floor only we have a double leaf door and in each and every floor we have a single leaf door. We do not have any window in our staircase stairwell. So okay. So for if you have a door. So you want to calculate the leakage flow through door crack. Na? So for that n factor value, we have to take two. So here I have written two. Okay. Now here we have to write down the single door detail means the size of that single door detail, their quantity, double door size and quantity. Okay. So generally we have a single leaf door in first floor, second floor, only one single leaf door in first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth, fifth, sixth. So total six number of single leaf door we have. And only in ground floor, we have one double door. So, okay, one quantity. Now, what size we have to consider? So, here in this sheet, now when you see, here some standard size of single leaf door and double leaf door is given. So, for single leaf in frame opening into pressurized space is given 2 meter by 800 mm. Double leaf door standard size is 2 meter by 1.6 meter. Okay. So, here I am writing the detail. For single leaf height, 2 meter width, 0.8 meter and the quantity is 6 because in each stairwell we have one single leaf door so total we have a 6 floor so 6 number same way double leaf uh, door standard height is 2 and width is 1.6 and the quantity only in ground floor we have so 1 I have written now you have to write down the total number of floor so we have a in problem it is written clear ground floor G plus 6 floor so total is 7 floor building Okay, now leakage area for single door, how much we have to consider and the leakage area for double door. Okay, so open that sheet and see here the leakage area types of door based on that crack length and leakage area is given. So if you have a single leaf door in frame opening into pressurizes, 
pressurized space so leakage area is 0 0.01 for double leaf door leakage area is 0 0.03 meter square okay so write down here 0 0.01 for single leaf door and 0 0.02 oh, sorry 0 0.03 for double leaf door okay now here uh, we need to calculate the total uh, leakage area so here we have got 0 0.09 because see actually each single leaf door leakage area is 0 0.01 so total we have a 6 so 0 0.01 into 6 plus 0 0.03 into 1 so total you will get 0 0.06 here i have applied the formula can you see this formula here in formula bar okay so we have got the total leakage area and pressure also i have written what we are we are maintaining in a staircase so if you know the pressure and leakage area value when you substitute these two value in this formula so here you will get the air required to flow through crack is how much 0 0.5 meter cube per second see same formula i have taken here can you see the formula here tell me same formula uh, we have uh, i have just taken here okay clear so in this way only we have to write down the formula now they see the second thing uh, okay leakage area required as uh, required to flow through crack is 0 0.5 here we have to take the 50 percent safety factor which is 0 0.26 then when you add both of them here you will get the total air required to flow through crack is 0 0.79 meter cube per second okay so here we have calculated the leakage flow through door crack door or window cracks okay simple now we have to calculate the leakage area for what through open door okay so we have a same formula q is equal to av already i have shown you here you can see the formula to calculate the leakage flow through open door q is equal to ae into v ae was effective leakage area of open door v is velocity through open door okay so same formula i have taken here q is equal to av now area of open door so first of all here you have to decide that how many door is open how many door is open in our case okay that is very important thing so that i will show you here see how to calculate that uh, before that first uh, freeze this plane okay now see suppose let's say in our case uh, we have a only one door okay but suppose if you have more than one door several openings several door you have so see to find out the uh, effective leakage area of, through open door if you have a single leaf door okay in your uh, staircase so on that time you have to prefer this table okay leakage area 0 0.01 for double leaf door 0 0.03 but suppose if you have a several opening several door which is open so here also to calculate the effective leakage area of open door you have to prefer this one see the leakage path in series if you have a several opening so two scenario is exist door in parallel and door in series so for door situated in series along an escape route the effective leakage area you have to find out by using this formula and if your door situated in parallel like this around a pressurized space so effective area you need to find out by using this formula okay so in our case we are assuming that we have only single leaf door in a stair base we do not have a, a several opening several door only we have a one single leaf door okay in our case and their size the uh, open door size is 2 meter by 0 0.6 so what is the area just uh, area of this open door 2 into 0.8 is how much so just multiply so you will get around 1.6 meter square okay i have written here now velocity through open door how much we have to consider so here we have a different standard already i have shown you as per bs5588 part 4 1978 when you see so always velocity you have to take 0 0.75 meter per second through open door okay so based on different uh, codes and standard uh, here also i have written velocity through open door 0 0.75 meter means of escape as per bs so if you are preferring this standard okay so here write down 0 0.75 meter per second so here you will get the 
air quantity required to flow through open door how much 1.2 meter cube per second okay but but always as per NFPA design should be done for at least three door open we have to consider so I am writing three so when you multiply 1.2 into 3 so you will get air quantity required to flow through open door is 3.6 meter cube per second okay so here we have calculated the leakage flow through open door so now this is our equation B now you have to add equation A and equation B means the total area air flow which you have calculated through door or window cracks plus total air leakage air flow quantity required to flow through open door so when you add both equation a and b here you will get 4.39 value in meter cube per second now i want the total air required air flow value to pressurize the staircase in cfm cubic feet per minute so for that uh, we have a formula you you need to convert this meter cube into cubic feet okay so here i have applied the formula simple so we have got 9299.64 cfm it means in our staircase if you want to pressurize the staircase so total air required is how much 9299 means it is around 9300 cfm value as per this cfm only we have to do the duct sizing we have to do the fan selection and all okay so this is all our total air required to pressurize the staircase in cfm same way now if you have if you want to calculate the exhaust air lower size okay so we have a formula a is equal to q upon v i want to calculate the area of that exhaust air lower okay so q value already we have calculated through open door how much 3.6 meter per meter cube per second okay i have written here velocity always we have to maintain 2 meter per second so here you will get the lower size in square meter area uh, 1.8 so suppose for a square lower each side of a square is small a so how much area we have calculated 1.8 so write down here 1.8 area now area of a square is what a square if the if the side of a square is a small a so area of a square is a square so a square is equal to 1.8 meters so a value how much you will got root 1.8 it is coming 1.34 so write down 1.34 meter when you convert this in uh, millimeter so it is around 1340 mm into one three because each side are equal so 1340 mm this is your exhaust air lower size same way if you want to do the pressure relief if you want to calculate the pressure relief vent size all of you know the purpose of the vent pressure relief vent is to relieve excess pressure in this stair when doors are open and closed okay so same formula you have to use here the formula which we are using now to find out the leakage flow through door or window crack same but here we need to calculate the area so it will look like this now so just here i have applied the formula same everything we have put q value we have taken c34 c34 means what where it is see this one flow through fire flow flow through open door is 3.6 now that you have to take okay value then uh, substitute you will get 0 0.61 square meter this is your pressure relief size so in this way we have to do the stairwell pressurization calculation i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one